Hey there. So you purchased a simple SVG or an Embelly SVG from my site and you get the email that tells you go ahead and download. You see the link, you click on that. Your computer will ask you where you're saving it. Now, sometimes computers may have blocks, things that you need to work on. I don't really know how your computer is or what systems may be in place. But in the email will be a link that you click on. When you click on that link, your computer will download it and save it. Usually asking you where you want to save it, but seriously, that's the trickiest part. You got to remember where that is. Then you're going to open up Design Space. It's, if you try and look at it, it's going to look really weird. SVGs don't come in looking like a picture. They come, they're code. They're weird looking, and mine come in stacked on top of each other to make it easier for you to install them. So just remember where you saved it. That's all you need to do. Then go into Design Space and click on Upload. And I'm going to upload an image. And then it's going to say, this is the, the million dollar question, where did you put it? You can go look, you can browse and go see where it is. So I'm going to click on browse and I know the one I'm talking about, I kept on my desktop. So it's right here and it comes in and it says, it takes it a few minutes because it's trying to upload it. It says it's the two page virus layout. So if you look over here, you can see that it looks kind of messy and a couple things on top of each other. It's okay. Just say save. That means you've got the two pages all together and it's going to save it. Then I'm going to click on it and I'm going to tell Cricut to insert the images. Now it's going to bring me to, to the design screen. Again, it's looking kind of messy, looking like there's a lot of stuff going on, lots of things over here. I'm going to zoom out so that I can see more of it. That's down in the lower corner of Design Space. And I'm going to come up here and I'm going to say Ungroup. And then I'm going to take one layer and slide it over. And there you can see the two layers. Now this one doesn't really have a lot of things that need to be done, except let's go to Make It. Sometimes some of them need a little something to make it come out better. The easiest way to figure that out is just send it to the cut screen and then take a peek and see what's going on. So here's your simple. This cuts out holes for your photos. One and two. I usually use Whisper White for mine from Stampin' Up. My Cricut loves it. It cuts really well. It needs to be 12 by 12. Remember, Cricut can only cut 11.49 by 11.49 and if you don't don't touch anything, that's how these simples come in for you. So you should be able to just go ahead and cut. So scroll down a little, there's the next layer. Those are the frames that are gonna go on this one. Another frame. And then this is your virus part. These little pieces are gonna cut out and you're gonna attach them to your virus to give it some dimension. And then your big one is for the big virus. This stay home hashtag is going to fit right here, right in that space for you. The big virus is going to fit right here. It's kind of a puzzle. You might have to twist it a little bit to figure out which way it goes in, but it does fit. Not perfect. It fits a little bit to give you a, a, a little shadow behind it. And then let's go back down to the last one. And then the coronavirus title and this, let's come back up they go on, oh, we did that one. They go on this layer. Okay, so coronavirus and stay home go on this one and your border of virus goes there. When you're done, you're gonna come back over here. If you did anything to this that you want to save as a project, you can. You can't share SVGs with anyone else, but you can save it for yourself so that you can open it on I happen to work with mine on my computer and then I cut it from my iPad. I just like that process. So I wanna save it in my design space, but remember now it saves to the cloud. So I'm gonna save this as a Corona, oops, let's spell it, right? Virus, simple, 
SVG so I know what it is and I'm gonna say save and then the next time I come back into design space I can find it hope that helps see you soon bye oh PS if you're looking for this it's super easy to find it is right on my site at caramiller.com so go grab one